The four major stages in phagocytosis are attachment, ingestion, killing and degradation. The process of phagocytosis begins with the attachment of opsonins, or specific molecules on the pathogen surface to cell receptor, on the phagocyte, and trigger phagocytosis. The cell membrane extends and pinches off to form phagosome. This vesicle matures by fusing with the lysosomes to form phagolysosomes. Lastly, degradation can occur via the action of lysosomal hydrolysis that contain H2O2, lysozyme, protease, phosphatase, nuclease and lipase. But did you know that bacteria have many strategies to protect themselves against phagocytosis? For example, Staphylococcus aureus of carotenoid pigment, and Mycobacterium tuberculosis have glycolipid cell wall to avoid H2O2 reaction. Streptococcus pyogenes also produce leukocyte in that destroy phagocytes, while Streptococcus pneumonia have capsule to resist phagocytosis. Now, let's move to antimicrobial proteins. First is the complement system, helps or complements the antibodies to clear pathogen or marks them for destruction. It consists of 30 proteins works in cascade reaction, and have three pathways which are classical, lectin and alternative. The second is interferons. Interferons are cytokines involved in immune regulation, particularly against viruses. The three major types are, IFN alpha, IFN beta, IFN gamma. The third is iron binding protein that limit growth of pathogens, as many pathogens require iron for enzyme activation. However, there are some bacteria who employ siderophores to steal iron from host proteins. Lastly, the antimicrobial peptides are short proteins, typically less than 50 peptides and kill bacteria by inserting themselves into the membranes. The examples of antimicrobial peptides are bacteriocins, defensins, maganins, and protagorins.